guys. Uh, Native Wash round two this weekend. We're down here right now. Uh, currently watching the Pro Open guys right now. Uh, we decided not to run Pro Open this weekend just to uh, save on the sled a little bit because we were just a little far off the mod sled pace last weekend. And it also jarred my shoulder that I'd crashed. Uh, the, the one I heard at Pine Lake, I jarred it in the water last weekend. So I figured just take it easy today. We are running the ZRT today just for fun, but instead of running 10 laps out here, putting a beating on the shoulder, it's just gonna take it easy for, to save it for tomorrow, so. clutch put a new clutch on there new clutch is slow should have went with the wobbled out old one that was faster um but yeah i don't know what happened Well, my class of classics just to have fun turned out to be not very fun. <laughs> it was uh, the weirdest thing. So we put a tighter primary clutch on. It's tighter than the old one. The old one, the outer sheave is a little wobbly to it. And this newer one, it's tight and it works good, but it's got good RPM, but no speed. The looser one, no RPM, but better speed. So it didn't have the top speed like, like it should out there today. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, well, yeah, then it, it just got, it just, uh, almost like it dropped a cylinder or dropped a main jet or something weird like that. So we'll have to see, dig into it a little bit, but we'll see what, what caused it, I guess. So yeah, what a bummer of just coming down here for fun today and have that happen in just three laps. <laughs> but it is 23 years old, so. Try again. Well, we found the problem. Some foam came out and went in center carburetor. You pan down in there. That's that's handy. Right there. Open the throttle gun and I'll pull this out. Yep. Oh yeah. Now it works good, huh? Man. Throttle work good now? Yep. Now it's yeah, now it's all the way back in. <sighs> Master's 40, how'd it go? 
I'm pretty good. Uh, still down on speed. RPMs are good though. Yeah. Yeah. Like Pine Lake speed or not? Not, not Pine Lake speed. No. 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 Weird. Uh, basically, Pine Lake setup. Yeah. Last week's setup didn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> so back to what works, and it's not fast. Huh. Uh, Weird. Weird on how both of our both of our Pine Lake setups are not doing very good at a native wash lake. Odd. Okay, pro open final just started. Um, being a racer, it sucks not being out there. But then also I'm such a fan that it's also super fun to watch. So I I have a lot of fun just watching too, but it does suck not being out there. So guys uh we need to wash round two day two quick recap of yesterday um classics class actually sucked up a piece of foam into the carburetor and on these zrts like this is the air box like uh this goes to the air box and there's like a little pre-filter foam there's a little pre-filter foam piece in here and i messed with the left side didn't do anything with the right side and it was actually a rotten piece off the right side that got sucked into the carburetor um so so that was a bummer, so easy fix at least. Um, trying two different clutch sets, setups again today on the ZRT. Dad raced Masters 40 yesterday in Classics. Uh, it was dry again yesterday, so Dad burnt up high fax on the Gen 2 again. And we had teased running the ZRT in Pro Open with the West Selby sponsorship, and we, we didn't, just because it didn't have the speed for it. But we did have Jag Body Shop make us the West Selby sticker. So we got the Selby Speed Shop sticker on there. So thanks to Wes for not sponsoring, but <laughs> uh, me and dad did a uh, team race at the end of the day yesterday. Um, I was just feeling my sled out for two laps and it felt pretty good. Um, I think I was third in my flight. Of course on the four stroke, people with four strokes know that sometimes they don't fire on the first crank over. So that's what happened to me. So I had to sit there and crank it twice. So I was almost last off the start. So. So yeah, pro stock qualifier right away this morning. Then hopefully a better run in classics and then pro stock final at the end of the day. And it's already like 38 degrees out. So there's already water on the ice. So it should be a pretty sloppy wet day. Well, just got done with pro stock uh, qualifier. Started behind Dan. Uh, me and Dan kind of, he maybe gained a second on me or something, but we stayed pretty damn close. I don't know what it is. That four stroke just doesn't seem to have the speed right now of like what it had at Pine Lake, which is unreal. Like we changed everything in the clutching last night. New springs, new new weights, uh, both two new springs, everything. It's just odd on why it's not performing like it should. Um, fifth. As of right now, so P5 as of right now, so that's front row at least. So it's gonna be a, a war of water in the final. So we'll see what we got. Hopefully, we can find something throughout the day to give her a little more beans. But yeah, just odd on down on speed. Well, yeah, just really, really odd. But oh well, we're here to we're here to have fun.
classics race. Put the old clutch back on there, down on RPMs, but gain speed. Please tell me how that works. Um, yeah, started behind Cullen and in staging, I pointed to Cullen and I said, I'm coming for you because he caught me yesterday when I was down on, I was down on speed, but, no, but he did catch me. Um, so it was fun catching Cullen and Kyle. I didn't get to really make a clean pass on them because there was somebody that crashed in a tighter section and they went around them and I just cut on the inside. So we didn't really battle at all, but I'm glad we didn't because, oh my gosh, is there water out there? A lot of water. Um, I'm soaked already. So I'm gonna change clothes here for pro stock final. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. So at least we had fun today on, on the ZRT. So another, another test where it was just like, eh. So every time we've been on the track, we've tested something, nothing's been primo yet. <laughs> changed a lot and got super loose. It was uh, almost too loose, uncontrollable. I had to slow down because it was like that. Other than that, it went good, didn't get sprayed. Nice. Hey! <laughs> well, trail class is all finished up uh, and it's, uh, I'm glad it's over with because uh, it's a wet mess and it's cold <laughs> so i'm happy to be done with it and uh sleds are really finicky in this water crap so hard to keep keep stuff running in good running order so we'll be here next year <laughs> <laughs> stock um i think we actually ended up getting fourth because i think something happened in the fuel stop so i think we ended up getting fourth not for sure yet but fourth or fifth um third off to start there um ran third for like the first two or three laps i think and i blew a corner right into the water and uh evan got around me and stayed right behind him there for that next lap Next la lap or two laps later, uh, blew the same corner. My sled was just like on ice skates in that corner for some odd reason. And then Herf got around me and stayed stayed within tow for him for a lap or so. But you like, there's so much water out there that I was getting a little water in. Um, so I just fell back a little bit. And Dan was behind me there for, for pretty much the whole race. Me and Dan were, were dead even the whole time. I could, couldn't get in, gain a second on him, he couldn't gain a second on me. So, um, 
I led one lap when everybody came in and fueled. Uh, went out for lap eight, I think it was. Uh, so I led one lap. That was cool. <laughs> but uh, missed the setup a little bit. Like it's we're really scratching our heads with what changed from Pine Lake to Natawash here. Um, I don't know. Just needed like one more mile an hour, maybe two, and then needed uh, more under braking. More under braking, and I was pushing a little bit. So just missed the setup for how the ice was kind of changing throughout the day. But I don't know, we made some money back. So happy about that. Um, thanks to my dad. Our, my dad, our fuel stops have been awesome this year. Like from Pine Lake and uh, last weekend and here, the fuel stops have been all really good. So so thanks to dad, thanks to my mom for cheering. Brody's down here too, cheering and holding goggles and my wife Mandy doing vlog stuff for me and cheering for, cheering for me, so, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's the wrap for, year, for the year on a, for us. So we got a lot of spring testing to do though. There's a lot of ice left on Pine Lake and we're gonna burn it up. <laughs> so, but yeah, thanks to the sponsors for the whole season. Uh, couldn't do it without, we literally couldn't do it without all of them. So you guys don't know how much I appreciate that. So anything to add to that, Mandy? But yeah. Yeah, fourth, fourth or fifth today. Don't know for sure, but we're in the running at least. So happy with that. Close. So we're going for Pine Lake next year though. Pine Lake's the main, the main one on the goal again. <laughs> so thanks.